Hey everyone, today we're going to give you the 10 things that we think you must do on Mariner of the Seas. Come check it out. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome to our channel. If it is your first time here, thanks for coming to check us out. We are a small travel agency that specializes in cruise travel. Put out a cruise video every single day at 4 p.m. We do a live stream Wednesdays at 7, and we do cruise news Sunday mornings. So we would love for you to subscribe to our channel, come along with this journey, and please, if you like the video, please like it. So today we're going to talk about the 10 things we think you must do on Mariner of the Seas. As always with any of these ships, most of these we try to do things that are complimentary or included in your cruise fare, but occasionally we'll throw in something we think you should splurge on if you are going on a cruise, especially on smaller ships. Uh, sometimes if we run out of uh, complimentary things, we talk about things we think are worthwhile to spend a little money on. So first, let's talk about enjoying a peaceful sea day in the solarium. The solarium on Mariner is very nice. It is not one of the enclosed ones. A lot of the, the ships have a retractable roof or an enclosed solarium. Uh, on Mariner, they do not. It is open to the sunlight, but the cushions in there are really nice. There are beautiful hot tubs in there. And now that they've raised the age on Royal Caribbean from 16 to 18 to enter the solarium, I think it's going to be a much nicer, peaceful environment. There is no uh, park cafe or anything in there, so there should be no children in there at all at any time. Uh, so there's only the solarium bar and those beautiful loungers. It is a pretty large area for the size ship it is, and it was never overly crowded. Now, there are day beds in there that people will get up at six o'clock in the morning, throw their stuff on, and you're not going to be able to get to those day beds. It's fine. There are plenty of cushion chairs, plenty of great places to hang out, relax, read a book, and enjoy a beautiful, quiet day out there in the solarium. Next up, let's go out in the evening and enjoy a cocktail and meet some new friends at the Bamboo Bar. Bamboo Bar is only on a few cruise ships in Royals uh, fleet, and it is a fun tiki concept. I think this is going to be similar to the new one that they're putting on Icon, uh, which is not called the Bamboo Bar. The name escapes me, Parakeet something maybe, who knows. But... It's a really fun spot. It's not the biggest bar in the world, but it wasn't overly crowded at any time. They do a few of the meetups in there, but all of those are self-led, so don't feel awkward going in there. Uh, they do uh, the singles meetup. They do the LGBTQ meetup in there. So, But go in there. They have great drinks in there, really fun cocktails. It's a fun ambiance of the tiki feeling in there with colors. It's a fun spot right on the Royal Promenade. Highly recommend it. Number three, here's something we think you could splurge or spend a little bit of money on, and that is go have a nice dinner at Jamie's Italian. All of the Royal Caribbean fleet, for the most part, are going to have chops. Most of the Royal Caribbean fleet are going to have Izumi. Not all of them have an Italian offering. Some of them have Giovanni's Table. Some of them have Giovanni's Kitchen. Some of them have Jamie's. So Jamie's is only on a few ships now. Uh, it is being kind of phased out i think on the royal side but it is my favorite restaurant on royal caribbean ships it's my favorite restaurant on any cruise ship so i would say go to jamie's have a great night out it is not overly expensive it's worth it it is a beautiful place they make homemade pasta there every day the food is delicious the desserts are delicious they have a lemon meringue cheesecake super super good there so number four, spend an easy evening on the hammocks by the sports court. This is something very interesting for Royal Caribbean. Uh, I don't know of many other ships that have swings or hammocks out on them, uh, out on the deck. But up by the sports court, there are some swings and some hammocks up there. And at night, it is very peaceful and quiet up there. It's a great place to just hang out, uh, enjoy the evening, look up at the stars, and uh, spend a nice evening out there. And it doesn't cost you a penny, not a penny more than you spend on your cruise. So next up, number, is this one, two, three, four, number five, uh, catch a sunrise or a sunset on the Peekaboo Bridge. 
So the Peekaboo Bridge, I would. So a lot of people are going to say, "Well, go to the helipad." You could definitely go to the helipad. It's a great spot for sail away. It's a great spot to catch those things. But it does get crowded up there. So if you want some peace and quiet, a little bit of a romantic early morning or evening, grab a cup of coffee at the Windjammer. Go cut right into that solarium door and go out to the Peekaboo Bridge. It's right off of the pool deck. It spins around so that you could look into the bridge, but it's super quiet out there in the morning and at night. And you could sit out there and watch the sunrise. You get beautiful videos and pictures. And it's a really nice romantic spot. Number six, go to the Silent Disco. Silent Disco is always one of my favorite things to do on a cruise. It's just so fun to see people singing and dancing and being crazy. And you can't hear any of the other music. Usually there's a DJ and he's playing for three different channels. You could listen to like dance music, maybe some rock and roll, maybe some country music, whatever it is. It switches around a lot, but that's a great thing to do. It's a lot of fun. It's usually on the promenade or in the ice skating rink on Royal Caribbean. So on ours, they did it in three different places. The promenade, the ice rink, which is Studio B and in Ellington's, which is up there in the Viking Crown Lounge. So number seven, God, I'm really bad at numbers. Go to one of the promenade parties. They have a 70s party, an 80s party. They have a country line dance party. There's something for everyone. Some of them get really crowded, uh, but it's fun if you show up in the beginning. If you if you don't like crowds, if you love crowds, you're going to really enjoy it. But it's really great. They have the cruise director staff come out. They dress up for the 80s. They did Pac-Man and Madonna and a bunch of other people. For the 70s, you know, they do um, the village people. And they do all the dances. They do YMCA. They do Macho Macho Man. They do a bunch of them. It's really fun. They do it in the Navy. You know, you get it. Go to one of those parties. They're a ton of fun. You're going to have a great time. Number eight, go to the Under the Big Top Ice Show. Again, I say it all the time. I don't know how people aren't more amazed that there's an ice skating rink and an ice show on a cruise ship. It's amazing. Uh, but this show is really fun. It has a good storyline. Uh, they even bring kids out onto the ice on a little train and they push them around. It's really cute. It's a great show. Uh, go check that out in Studio B on deck three. Get there early because seats fill up quick. So number nine is going to be the Playmakers Campfire Cookie. This is one you're going to have to spend a little money on. It's like $9. It's going to be the best thing you eat on board. If you have a little bit of a sweet tooth and you love desserts, Campfire Cookie is for you. It's a cookie. It's in a skillet. A little baby skillet. It's going to have, uh, so it's a chocolate chip cookie with some hazelnut spread on it. Then it's got some brulee marshmallows there on top. And then you get a little shooter of milk and you get a little thing of ice cream. Can't eat the whole thing by yourself. I've tried. I mean, maybe you can. I couldn't eat the whole thing by myself, but it is delicious. It's a great thing to split with a friend or a lover or a loved one, whoever you like to split it with. Um, I was by myself, so I couldn't eat it by myself, but you will love it. It's amazing. And it's only $9. Go check it out. Finally, last but not least, my favorite thing on the whole cruise, go to the crazy quest show. It takes place in studio B, which is down there on deck three. It's the ice rink. It is a wild, crazy ride. Uh, I don't want to give a lot away. You can see a couple fun things here. You may wind up with your pants off. You may wind up seeing some outrageous things. If you are easily offended, do not go to this show. But if you like to have a good time and you enjoy watching people do outrageous things and possibly embarrass themselves a little bit, this is for you. Go check out the Crazy Quest. These are our 10 things we think you must do on Mariner of the Seas. Let us know below if you have a favorite. Once again, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Come join us every day with some fun cruise news. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.